Yes, there's sir. so there's so much to talk about, but the biggest news that broke over the weekend in the world of women's basketball, WNBA legend Candace Parker, after 16 wonderful years, announced her retirement on the interwebs. Um, one of one, man. What, 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 when you think Candace Parker, I mean, like, I mean, there's there's a lot of words that you can use to describe Candace, right? But if you could just give me just like one word to describe Candace Parker, what, what would that one word be? Versatility. That's the word that kept coming up for me, man. When I watching the clips and the footage and just thinking back and reflecting, um, the the main thing that I just I remembered feeling whenever I would watch Candace Parker play basketball, especially early on. Um, like I've told you, I was I was there watching her in college um, playing against Rutgers in the NCAA tournament. And I would I was always marvel at um, just the amount of things that she could do at her size. She was sometimes the tallest person on the court or one of the taller people on the court. But she played like a straight up guard. Um, her passing ability, which I felt was never really talked about or highlighted much for some reason, because as a passer she was truly gifted um her ambidextrous like being able to do things with either hand like her left hand staple became such a thing over the years if you really watch her um something i really enjoyed as somebody who actually i scored my thousand point in college with my left hand um so you know someone who can definitely appreciate using your offhand but man i'm just telling you the the, the all around she's probably the best all around player ever I was also thinking about that. Like when you think versatility on the women's side, she's, she's kind of the LeBron of the, of the, of women's basketball. When you think of it that way, like regardless of goat conversations or all time player, or whatever, one thing I think you can comfortably say right now is that she's the best all around player in history. She, as it stands today, she's top 10 all time in points, rebounds, assists, blocks, field goals made, double doubles among other things and so when you look <laughs> the body of work is is ridiculous and i just think all around we, that's that's one thing you can really say like she's the best all around player ever um i mean for me i mean special like and it was kind of a thing like when we first started the show because we started the show around playoff time so there's a lot of like you know first times and it's you go on twitter and they talk about, oh, you know, Ryan Howard's first to do this or Rike was first to do that. And it's like, yeah, first since Candace Parker. And it feels like that's like the thing with the WBA. It's like everyone's like the first to do something since Candace Parker. And I, Candace Parker, special, not just a special player, but just like a special person. Um, her 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 ball knowledge, which obviously, you know, when you're really good at the game for that long, you're, you know, your ball knowledge is 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 incomparable to comparable only to those who have played the game just as long as you like her ball on it's like second to none you know what yeah, i mean like, like the way she played the I, game you could her iq was just on another level like the one thing that i think that and i feel the one and, I, and we talked about it on the show of course but like the one thing about her playing for the aces last season that made it so special it wasn't just you know she was bringing her greatness to the aces but it's like her ball knowledge on the floor of a team that was on the precipice of greatness, right? Had just come off a championship season, right? Asia's obviously at the top of her game. We know what Ch we know who Chelsea Gray is. We know which like like Candace's present presence off the floor, especially when she was unable to play because of the injury, right? Because of the foot surgery. What she, I just know, like what she was bringing to the team off the floor, just the knowledge, right? We talk a lot about guys like um, LeBron, Rondo, Chris Paul, guys like that being like coaches on the floor. Candace Parker, bro, like a coach on the floor, like an extension of the coaching staff, like the ball knowledge, just second to none. And the one thing I love the most about Candace is in every player and every player says this, but not every player all the time, sometimes like says true to it. Like she was very adamant, even going into last season, like she wanted, she, despite what she wanted, she did not want to cheat the game. Like she wanted to make sure that if she was going to come back, at the time for 15th season and coming to this, I was like, you know, like she wanted to make sure that she was coming with Candace Parker, not yeah. like not 50% of Candace Parker, not 70% of Candace Parker, but she wanted to come with hundred percent Candace Parker. And she wanted to be meaningful. She wanted to play meaningful minutes and play meaningful basketball. And for her to kind of take that step back, you know what I mean? And, and despite, and she even said it in the Instagram post, like despite, you know, her heart wanting to just kind of take that. She, she said she was coming back first. She, she was coming first, back. 
Yeah, so at first she was coming back. Then she's like, oh, I, don't, I guess not. Yeah, I mean, to me, that only just, again, goes to speak to just how special she is because not all the pairs do that. Like, yeah, some no, know, the self-awareness, the self-awareness yeah. is, is serious. There are a lot of players who, like, I got to have that comeback. Like, you know, I got to have that comeback tour. I got to have that fair road tour, whatever. His, like, Kenneth's like, you know, like 16 years, bro. Like, 16 years, and she's done just about everything there is to do. MVP I mean, yeah. of the year, cha- multiple championships, finals MVP, first, but like, there's nothing, there's nothing left. <laughs> there's, 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 there's nothing left. They're like, there's nothing possible, no, nothing left. And, and, and I, as an Aces fan, obviously, really was looking forward to seeing Candace come back healthy with this team going for the three people. But honestly, too, it's like the impressions that she left on Asia, especially as a big in this league, in her prime, I know we're going to see that out of Asia this season. I know whatever I, I know, just knowing Asia Wilson, I know that she was sitting under that learning tree and just soaking it all up like a sponge and getting it. So the impressions and the, the knowledge that Candace Parker um, distributed to her fellow teammates, especially Asia, I know we're going to see it. So that too is, I can't wait. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I shout out Candace Parker, man. Shout out Candace Parker. Yeah. I did. The only regret is that we don't get to see more. I mean, you, you make a good point. Like they won too. like to go out after winning. That's yeah. awesome for her. Right. Like it would be cool to yeah. see her go for the three peat run with them. I was looking forward to seeing that too, but we did get to see that very small sample size. I mean, I, I, yeah. I feel like we need to go back. I may have to do a breakdown on my channel or something, go back and just look at that. Cause that was some of the best basketball I've ever seen. Candace Parker, Asia Wilson, Chelsea gray, like that whole chemistry, that whole action. I mean, I think it was like just 18 games that they had together that she played, but man, like that was just so special. So, I mean, that sucks. We didn't get to see more of that, but at least we did get to see some of it. See. And she yeah. did, she did contribute, although she didn't play at all in the playoffs. I, we knew we know that she was that voice off the court. We know she was just as much a part of that. And, and you know, she, of course, the way she performed in the regular season helped put them in position to do that. Um, mm-hmm. I think the other word that has to come up is also longevity, because when yeah. you look at like when you really look at not just the accolades, but when they happened, um, obviously one of only three basketball players ever to win MVP and rookie and, and rookie of the year in their rookie year. She did that in 2008. But then she won defensive play, the defensive player of the year in 2020, which was her last season in L.A. That's 12 yeah. years later. Like, you know, so you, you look at where all her accomplishments happened. It was all throughout her career, you know. So longevity is something that sticks out among the fact that, again, the injury history, she had 10 major surgeries throughout her career. So to have that longevity and that success, um, yeah. despite battling through that, you know, um, we put up the clip on our Instagram from when we talked about um we were talking about her documentary unapologetic and they yeah. really highlighted just her resilience even back to high school all the injuries she had been dealing with throughout her whole career so when you again when you look at everything legitimate goat case but like i said at the very least she's the best all around player yeah. ever she she brought in she ushered in the era of versatile dual forward hybrid post of you know versatile unicorns in the WNBA, she and she inspired a lot of those types, and of course, just a lot of girls in general who wanted, who came up wanting to hoop because of Candace Parker. And I, I'll say, man, the thing I'm most excited about because she mentioned it in the Instagram post, and I just can't wait for it to happen for real. She made it clear that she is interested in owning a WNBA team, and Ooh, I nice. can't wait for that. I don't know, I don't know if she's gonna get one of these you know, one of the newer teams that are expanding, whether she's going to own an existing team, but I just know, like, she's going to bring all that same competitive fire, all that same competitive yeah. nature to being yeah. an owner. I'm sure involved in the league too, too, man. Just keep, you know, for her to want to be involved in the league, let's, let's make that happen. Like, like yeah, she, she's got to stay, she's got to stay involved and I'm sure she 